The journey to Icon of the Seas started with one question. How do you create a vacation that combines the best of every vacation? Thrills of all kinds to make a great theme park adventure? Check! Food, bars, entertainment, nightlife, shopping and more at your fingertips to make a great resort getaway? Check! How about when it comes to the relaxing escape, like a beach retreat? Introducing Chill Island and the Hideaway. On this episode of Making an Icon, we're diving into the Infinity Edge and Suspended Pools, the largest pool at sea, bars, bites, live music, and more that make up these new neighborhoods. They are two of the eight on Icon, and they are more than your average pool decks. But seeing is believing, so let's get started. Chill Island is located in the top and really the middle of the ship. It's really a multi-level experience centered around the idea of chilling, just taking it easy. Keep it sunny, we dedicated an entire neighborhood to Icon to Chill because chill can mean different things to different people. Our guests also travel with different mindsets. You could come one day and you wake up and you want to do the flow rider and just really challenge yourself from a thrill perspective. Then there's other days where you just want to relax. Chill Island was really based on that mindset. This is everything from relaxing poolside, listening to the Caribbean band, or even engaging in the swim up bar, swim and tonic. Keep it sunny, dude. The Hideaway should be a little bit of a day club, beach club kind of vibe with this incredible infinity pool. The experience we want to create at the Hideaway is an extension of that chill vibe. At the heart of Chill Island and Hideaway is the ocean. It's all about the middle of the ocean views that you can only get on a cruise and the different ways you can take them in. From the type of pool, to the vibes, to the music, and more. The naval architects, innovators, designers, and engineers designed both neighborhoods around the research that showed everyone is looking for more connections to the ocean. When it comes down to market research and, of course, understanding what our guests are looking to do, we know one of the major draws is wanting to be connected to the water. And so you'll see we've really leveraged the latest shipping nautical technology to really bring some of our spaces to just grander levels so people always feel like they're connected to the ocean. Our research told us that people wanted to not only look at the water, see the ocean, but they wanted to be surrounded by water. Whether it's a whirlpool, jacuzzi, whether it's a swimming pool, whether it's a beach pool, really that whole experience is built around water. It all came down to one simple idea, adding more pools than ever before. That meant adding more water at the top of Icon, which was a challenge in itself. It's a large ship and that canvas allows us to bring forward a lot of incredible experiences. And so with a larger canvas, it gives us the opportunity to bring more pools. We said that one of the areas which we really are going to design in a totally different way are the open decks. Normally, a ship has maybe a couple of hundred tons of water in the pools. Here we said that we will have between 500 and 1,000 tons of water. We were able to design the superstructure around the pools instead of putting the pools within the superstructure. Which has historically always been done in shipbuilding. We really thought through how can we maximize different types of water, different types of pools. The biggest thing that we did in designing our pools is bringing them towards the outboard of the ship and allowing guests to physically be in the water while looking at the ocean and waiting on their next drink. The result? There's 62% more water surface area than today's largest cruise ships in the world, which are Royal Caribbean's Oasis-class ships. Where is all that water going? It's everywhere! From the largest pool at sea to an adult-only pool and the first suspended infinity pool at sea, five of the seven pools on Icon are right here, and they each have different levels of chill. Royal Bay, which is going to be the largest pool ever put on a ship, is going to be awesome. 
and there are a variety of different experiences within the pool itself. The entry of the pool is what we call a waiting area, meaning that there is shallow water there. There are two hot tubs that flank either side of the pool. And then we have the longest deep water pool that we've ever created with integrated seating. And there is the bandstand directly located above it to be able to perform to the pool itself. We are bringing Swim and Tonic to Icon of the Seas. It's our first true swim up bar. It's going to be a party vibe all day. A DJ is right there. And we've really designed it in a way that allows for dancing if you want to on a more shallow end of the pool. It has a whirlpool right next to it. Swim and Tonic is going to be a unique space. Where guests can swim up, grab and hold freshly made gin and tonic served in a copa glass and to sit and relax in the cold water as they enjoy the views of the Caribbean. The Cove Pool. This will be a smaller pool and this is the one that is located right outward. This will be your more zen type of a pool if you are looking for a calmer experience. The Cove, that is one that we purposefully put on the edge of the ship so that you can not only sit in the water, enjoy it, but also look out into the ocean. The other infinity pool we have on Icon, and we made sure that we brought that as close to the ocean as possible, even letting water overflow off that infinity edge as well. We really wanted to push the boundary and get as many pools as possible facing the oceans. And with Cloud 17 pool, which is our adult only area, we've accomplished that. We think that's going to be incredibly popular. So you can go and look at the ocean, you can go into a beautiful infinity pool, you can have great cocktails, you can relax and you can really chill. The Hideaway features our first suspended infinity pool at sea, overlooking the wake of the ocean where you're going to get the best sunsets on the planet. Like every neighborhood on Icon, Chill Island and The Hideaway are destinations in and of themselves. While friends and family who love thrills are testing their courage nearby at Thrill Island, this is a place to kick back all day, complete with spots that serve up casual bites, drinks, and tropical vibes. Layering in food and beverage experience is really critical. And so our research showed us that our guests are looking for convenience. And so we've got things like El Local Fresh, which is a favorite, but we've elevated that to the, we've got Cantina Fresca, so the guests can get an amazing cold margarita along with their tacos and burritos. We do have returning favorites on Icon of the Seas. And of course, we've brought back Lime and Coconut, which is our most successful bar that we've ever created. There are four different bars on the pool deck, tagged as Lime and Coconut, and you really know more than you know, steps away from any of the bars. We're actually doing a frozen version of lime and coconut. We'll have several machines with different flavors that the guests will be able to get just a standard pina colada or mix and match and make up their own flavor combinations to let them explore that a little bit and have some fun with it. Our guests know and love our soft serve offering on board any of our Royal Caribbean ships. Right on the pool deck on Chill Island at the heart of it, we have a great sprinkles offering with some interesting toppings and bringing new options. The Aquadome Market, which is our new food hall, have five new food booths that we've never created before, such as mac and cheese, crepes, great sandwiches, salads. People can walk up, get to go food, take it back to the pool deck if they want. Within the Chill Island space, I kind of absolutely have the largest wind jam at sea. That gives us the opportunity to bring in a variety of different dining experiences for our guests. We're also looking at leveraging some of the things we've done as bubbles to hideaway, as well as creating some special cocktails just for the hideaway area as well. I think that's gonna be a fantastic space. It's beautiful. I can't wait to see the suspended pool 15 decks high. You can get incredible views, great music, fantastic drinks, with proximity to food from base camp. And it's gonna be a place our guests are gonna really make it their hideaway. When it comes to finding a vacation for everyone in the family or your group of friends, those who want to kick back can do that any day of the week on Icon because the chill stacks up to the thrill and then some. Between beach club vibes and Caribbean island time, bars with frozen drinks, champagne, and signature margaritas, adults-only pools and lively pools, there's more than one type of chill at Chill Island and The Hideaway.
through the research and experience, we see that sometimes people during the day, they want to thrill and sometimes they want to chill. We've identified spaces and we have brought these things to life so that people relax, have a drink, we get some sun, we eat some good food. Chill will continue to be part of the essence and the DNA of what Royal Caribbean delivers. Vacation should not be stressful and the core of that is chilling. Chill has many different aspects and it gives you that sense of freedom and really kind of sets the stage and the foundation for your iconic vacation. There's a lot more of the story to be told before Icon's debut in January 2024. Stay tuned for the next episode of Making an Icon, where we'll get to the heart of every Royal Caribbean vacation, the crew, and their very own neighborhood. <laughs>